Hey guitar buddies, let's take a look at Mr. James Brown, I Feel Good. <laughs> Good. Back into the verse. Okay, great funky stuff there. So starting on a D7 chord, and I'm just playing F sharp on four on the D string, C on five on the G string, and D on three on the B string, so no fifth. And I'm just sliding that down a semitone and back up. So, I feel good. So, so, dun, 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 dun. so that whole chord just slide it down and slide it back up. And then I pick a D on the at the twelfth position. Just a, a D chord on the top four strings. So I feel good. Who did I would? And then I swap to a G7 chord. So I'm now playing three, four, three on the same three strings, the D string, the G string, and the B string. And again, just sliding that down and sliding it back up again. And then playing uh, on the top four strings, a G chord. Then back to the D. Okay, so that first section, I feel good. Did it I would? I feel good. I knew that I would. So good. I'm playing an A chord on the top four strings, a G chord. So good, so good. I got you. And then I play this. What the brass is playing, okay, so um, so I'm just doing it, filling in on the guitar here. So I'm playing, I'm playing this in octaves, but you don't have to. So the easier version would be to play, which is D, F sharp, A, C, E. So it's a D9 chord. So 12 on the D string, 11 on the G string, 10 on the B string, 13 on the B string, 12 on the uh, E string. But it's quite nice to do the octaves. So that's on the A and D string, uh, 5 and 7, then 9 and 11, then on the D and B strings, 7 and 10, then 10 and 13, then on the G and E strings, 9 and 12. And then we've got... Again, I'm filling in for the brass here, so I'm just playing around the D minor pentatonic scale. A D, and then we've got D and C. So 12 on the D string, 10 on the E string, 13 on the B string. But I like to add a little rake into there. You don't have to, but just the way I play it. Then, so I'm just raking across the 10th fret there. So I'm really not, not really pushing down the strings until I get to the last string. So, so I've got 
so from that, so we've got D, D, C, then A, C, A, 10, 13, 10, on the B string. And again, you could just play an F there, on 10, on the G string. But I quite like to do it as a double stop. Again, because I'm sort of filling in uh, for the brass here. And we'll do a little push on it. So um, I'm just just pushing up a slight bend, and I, and then repeating that. So I'm playing ten and ten. So rather than just F on ten, I'm playing F and A, ten and ten on the G and B strings. And then the when I hold you section, I'm just going from a. I just played straight fours on a G to a D back to a G stop on an A can do you no harm and I feel that back into our verse and then just at the end we've just got a, a kind of repeat so good so good I got you so good, so good, I got you. Then last time, so good, so good, I got you. Hey! So on the last one, I'm playing, I'll play single notes to start with. Just exactly as we played before going up. And coming back down, D, C, A, G, and then an F natural. We played an F sharp going up, an F natural on the way down. So 12, 13, uh, so 12, 11, 10, 13, 12 going up, then 10, 13, 10, 12, 10. And just wait for whoever's singing to go, hey! And finish on a D9 chord. Okay, um, so again, going down. If you're going down on the octaves, you play the same going up, then seven and 10, then 10 and 13 on the D and B strings, the C, seven and 10, on the D and B strings, A, 10 and 12 on the A and G strings, G, 8 and 10 on the same strings, F, so, Thanks for watching, buddies!